Right, uh, this is how to change the belt. Uh, on this particular model, um, you have to have a screwdriver to take off the back guard, as you can see here. You have to take this off because it's obviously holding the belt on, because it's a guard. Um, so, um, the first thing you need to do is loosen that, as you can see, make the belt go loose. Now, if you get your screwdriver, like this one, it's just a cheap one I got from my Christmas present. Now there's a screw in here. I don't know if you can see it or not. But just behind the catch, there's a screw just there. If you take that one out, you can use a drill, but you have to be careful you don't chew off the um, heads. Because obviously then you won't be able to repair it. So now you've got that side off. So you flip it around to the other. And to these two here. I've also got screws in. Now these ones you don't have to take them fully out. You just have to take them a bit out because you've got a groove in it like that and you just slide straight out. Now when you do this, it generally does bring a bit of uh, dust. I put that in there. Now as you can see, it's got these um, grooves. So the so when it goes into the screw. You just tighten it to tighten that so you don't have to take all the screw out. And then once you've done that, when it's slackened, all you need to do is slide it off. Like so. There you have it off, and then it's just the exact same to get it back on. So you just basically slide this on. There. Sometimes they are a bit tricky, but generally you get the hang of it. Now you just clip that on. As soon as you clip that on, the belt stays straight to it, which keeps it snug. Um, right then. You just get the guard back on. You slide it into there. And you will have to catch that back up again to get the screw back in. Get the screw back in. Put the catch back on. Tighten up these screws. And then that's the blade put on. Then you might have to find out that obviously you have to um, track it. Now to do this you have your little tracker here. Now, it generally does work best when you turn the belt sander on. Twist that until you get it in the centre of the two things. Right, next is the disc. Now here you have to take off the table, if you can see it or not, I'm not sure. So you have to take off the table. Like so. So there's the table. There's not always make sure where it is. So then you have the whole of the disc here. Now you might want to take off the garbage down here. I'll just raise it up so you can see it a bit. I'm not sure if you can still see it. But I'll raise it up. Like so. Yeah, you can see the guard just there. So if you get your screwdriver, just do the exact same thing. Unscrew that. comes off and you might find there's a bit of dust in there. When you do this, sometimes you might want to um, clean it out a bit. Right, so next you just have to peel it off. Some of them you can, with these you buy them, obviously, um, but it, sometimes you have to spray them with uh, spray adhesives to get them on. But some of the time they come with um, 
generally they come with um, the sticky pad on the back. Because I couldn't, because I didn't get one in time, and I really definitely need one on. I got just a normal six-inch pad, and just put some carpet tape on the back, which I'm having to peel off here. So uh, when I've got this off, I'll uh, show you what I have to do next. <laughs> 